Ediac and animals have very little in common with those of the Cameron period Afrin. Being pro-articulata, there is still nothing like what came after them, as they lacked bilateral symmetry, having glide symmetry instead. It's worth noting that Dickinsonia is still considered pro, pro articulata, with only a few scientists saying it has bilateral symmetry. Even with Kimberella, you can only potentially approve an Ediacan ancestor for mollusks, but not any deuterosomes like chordates or echinoderms, nor exocytosomes and annelids, both of which had already split off by that point. Due to evolution seeing a bridge from Ediacan organisms to their possible exocytosome trilobites, or chordate pacaya ancestors. Evolutionists present a whole array of organisms to prove evolution. However, none of these arguments are particularly strong. Spurgina, which lived about 555 million years ago, could be an arthropod ancestor, but it has glide symmetry like most other Ediacan organisms and less segmented limbs, which all arthropods have. It bears resemblance to annelid polycate worms as well, but it lacks cate or anything else going scientific with this. As such, Spurgina and other cephalozoans are grouped in with the other articulata. Many other organisms have the same problems as Spurgina and are still attempts to be called trilobite ancestors. These include Caretza and all of morphs, of which some may have actually got exocytosomes, you know, unlike everything else. Parvan Carina, from about 558 million years ago, is actually bilaterally symmetric and even has a shield shape. It must be a trilobite ancestor until you realize they are completely unsegmented, have weird vertebral stages, completely lack self locomotion, you know, like a polyp, and lo look far more like any possible trilobite ancestor than actual trilobite. Icaria from 568 million years ago to 555 million years ago, which was just recently discovered in 2020, as a matter of fact, was immediately pit as an ancestor of something. Yes, something, because the only distinctive feature is its supposed bilateral symmetry, which is only which it is only said to have because it has a distinct front and back. Pretty much everything has that. Unless further research proves otherwise, my bet is on this guy having glide symmetry instead, if it even has segments for that matter, making just another member pro articulata. Then there's Saccharitis from about 540 million years ago, which has a stronger case, which is probably because it's actually a Cambrian organism rather than an Ediacan one. Some scientists say it's a deuterosome, we're only defined by how the anus develops before the mouth because of its eight body cones. So can me if I'm wrong, but they're only supposed to have two. But the problem is that it doesn't even have an anus. Of course, the other argument scientists make is that it's an ex exocytosome. Very suspicious considering that scientists have been needing an ancestor for trilobites and pacaya for quite a while, and forcing this organism that either of those groups would give them the proof they so desire. Also worth knowing that if it's a protostome, as exocytosomes are, it's still need an anus. Just that the anus would develop second. Lastly, there's a Vitula cystidae, which lived from about 540 to 500 million years ago. Still in the Cameron, but a family of organisms this time. This one is a deuterostome, which actually has an anus as well. Under evolution, it'd be an ancestor of echinoderms, you know, like starfish, not chordates. This one's a problem because it has lenticels, you know, like plants. Also, it's worth noting that only two organisms appear in both the Ediacan and the Cambrian. Ediacaria, good luck getting that to prove anything, and Treptichnus, of which only its burrows remain, meaning that it can prove pretty much nothing. With only Kimberella and Icaria as possible Ediacan ancestors of post Ediacan bilaterians, with the rest all being a pro articulata, it still seems like this debate over the Ediacan favors YAC. There may be a concrete way to disprove Kimberella as a possible mollusk ancestor or other possible. Mollusk and brachiopod ancestors, but I have no interest in, in being the one to do that personally.